In our first example of how to take a cross product between two vectors, here we have vector A and vector B, so we want to find A cross B. Notice that vector A has a magnitude of 3, vector B has a magnitude of 5. And notice that, of course, if vector A is along the x-axis and vector B is along the y-axis, that the angle between them must be 90 degrees. So first, let's find the magnitude of the resultant. So if I want to find the magnitude of A cross B, that is equal to um, A times B times the sine of the angle between them. And so that would be A, with, uh, that's equal to 3. B is equal to 5. And then the sine of 90 degrees is equal to 1. And so that would be equal to 15. So it tells us that the magnitude of the resultant of the cross product of A cross B is 15. Now, the, what's the direction of the vector of the resultant? So C is equal to question mark if we set this equal to c and so what would be then the resultant vector well we know that the vector has to be perpendicular to the plane that a and b are in and it looks like a and b are in the xy plane which means that the cross product must be in the z direction now is it in the positive z direction or is it in the negative z direction and what if i did b cross a would that be the same result well, if I do B cross A, you can see that the magnitude would have to be exactly the same. Interchanging these two, 5 times 3 is the same as 3 times 5, I would get the same magnitude. But would I get the same direction of the resultant vector? Well, it turns out you would not. And one way to figure out what to do is to take your right hand. And notice if you point your direction, the fingers in the direction of the first vector, A, and then you curl your fingers in the direction of the second vector, B, your thumb will point in the direction of the resultant vector. And so, you see, a, a cross B, it turns out that the resultant vector would be in the positive Z direction. Now, what would happen if we went B cross A? Well, then, kind of difficult because the human anatomy makes it hard, but imagine, put your fingers in the direction of the B vector, and then curl your, your fingers in the direction of the A vector, then notice your thumb points downward, and notice you have to use your right hand, don't use your left hand, the right hand, and so it looks like in B cross A would be the vector of the same magnitude, but in the opposite direction, the negative Z direction. Hmm, that's interesting. So remember that. It's A cross B or B cross A. The magnitude is the same, direction would be different. Now let's find out if we can do that using the other method. Let's say that A cross B is equal to the result of the determinant x, y, z, a sub x, b sub x, oh, oh no, a sub x, a sub y, a sub z, and b sub x, b sub y, and b sub z. All right, now let's plug in the numbers associated with a sub x, a sub y, and a sub z, and b sub x, b sub y, and b sub z. So this is equal to the determinant x, y, and z. a sub x, yes, a points in the x direction, and it looks like that is equal to 3. But notice there is no component of the a vector in the y direction or the z direction, so that's 0 and 0. For the b vector, notice that it's pointing in the y direction only, so there's no x and z components. So x and z components are 0, and the y component is 5. So now all we have to do is work out this determinant. So this is equal to, take the first element, x hat, times the product of, now notice, if I cross out all the elements in the row and all the elements in the column that x is in, I end up with those four numbers, and I multiply those two and subtract when I multiply those two. So it's 0 times 0 minus 0 times 5. Then I go minus y hat, as we call it. That would be the unit vector in the y direction right here. Cross out all, all the elements here, all the elements there, and I'm left with these two and those two. So it's this times this minus this times this. So it would be uh, 3 times 0 minus 0 times 0. And finally, plus z. Cross out all the elements here, all, all the elements there. I'm left with those four. So it's this times this minus this times this. So it would be 3 times 5 minus 0 times 0. Notice that the first two disappear. This is 0, this is 0. So it's 0 in the x direction, minus 0 in the y direction, plus 15 in the z, z direction. So this is equal to 15 in the 
z direction. And that's the resultant of a cross b. And notice that's kind of what we expected. We expected the vector with the magnitude of 15, and we expected it to be in the positive z direction. So you can see that our resultant, c being equal to a cross b, has a magnitude of 15, and it's pointing in the positive z direction. What would happen if I went b cross a? Would I get negative 15? Well, let's find out. So what if we do b cross a? That would be equal to, we still have x, y, and z. Instead of putting the a vector first, I put the b vector first. So this is b sub x, b sub y, b sub z. We put a sub x, a sub y, a sub z. So this is equal to, when we plug in the numbers, this is still x, y, and z, unit vectors. The b vector first, it has only a magnitude of 5 in the y direction, nothing in the x and the z direction, so it's 0, 5, 0. For the a vector, we have 3, 0, 0, right? Only a magnitude in the x direction, 0, and 0 in the y and the z direction. And now let's work out that determinant and see what we get. So this is equal to x hat times, cross out all of those and all of those, I get 5 times 0 minus 0 times 0. So 5 times 0 minus 0 times 0 minus the unit vector in the y direction, cross out all the elements where the y belongs to, and all the elements where the y belongs to in the vertical direction here, we have 0 times 0 minus 0 times 3, so we have 0 times 0 minus 0 times 3, and finally plus z hat, cross out all the elements in the row, all the elements in the column, and I'm left with these four numbers, so it's 0 times 0 minus 0, 5 times 3. So 0 times 0 minus 5 times 3. Notice the x component disappears, the y component dis disappears, all I have is z component, and indeed I do get a minus 15 times z direction. So this is equal to minus 15 in the z direction. Notice when I reverse the order, I go b cross a, I get the same magnitude, but in the opposite direction, in the negative z direction. So b cross a is negative 15z, a cross B is a positive 15C. That's how you can see that when you do A cross B or B cross A, you get the same magnitude vector, but simply in the opposite directions. And that's how you do a cross product. Now, that's a simple example. I will show you in the next video a little bit more complicated example to see how you do cross products.